The idea behind the workshop was to uh, form a collaboration with professionals that design with ceramics and really pull that group together, uh, combined with architects, ceramic artists, and facade engineers. Just the tremendous number of people that are here from a, a, a wide variety of uh, disciplines, uh, uh, artists, sculptors, ceramicists, architects, engineers, and just the exchange of ideas and um, the exposure to the, all the fabrication techniques and um, uh, ideas that are sort of buzzing around uh, Boston Valley uh, terracotta are too good to pass up. So um, I think I'm just trying to learn more and more about the material so we can push our projects and do better and better work. One of the benefits that I saw to coming to this event here at Boston Valley was that I was able to learn more about the systems that were provided by Boston Valley, learn more about the materials, the limitations, and, and, the, and the, the benefits of using uh, terracotta, as well as um, learning from the individuals, other individuals that are attending this conference, learning their experiences, um, and getting to work on you know, various um, uh, projects with them during the workshops uh, to you know, build great ideas. Well, the clay storming was uh, a way to bring everybody together and participate with a hands-on environment. Uh, some of the people came in with a lot of experience and others had no practical knowledge of how to work with the material or what the material was about. So it was a real learning lesson for everybody. It really is an amazing material, so you learn every day. Yeah. Approach it with an open mind and then see what way it takes me. It's the best fun, really. I think one of the most exciting things was it seemed like everyone really maybe made an effort throughout the week to kind of step out of their own comfort zone Absolutely. and maybe their own preferences and um, really try to, you know, listen and like learn as much as they could from the other members of the team. Just even being able to tour Boston Valley's facilities and get a sense for what constraints are. Um, how things are done. Um, so when you take that back to the drawing board design or even out in the field to figure out how to construct it, um, we've also been allowed to take that step of collaboration a little bit further even and it really feels like a dialogue here with the people at Boston Valley. If I think about Boston Valley and the kind of transformations that they've had over the last few couple of years, by taking risks in innovation, I think a workshop like this can produce innovation that could even take the industry, the material further. The workshop is, I think, like a model. It's a kind of the first step to say, is this something we should repeat every year or should it be adapted a little bit? Uh, I think just getting this number of, you know, 25 people here from around um, from Europe and around the country to be able to sort of have this discussion is pretty valuable. And uh, a lot of us uh, who are in academia can find ourselves isolated from how the profession's working, how our industry's working. And so these kinds of inter interfaces really are very useful. And I think for our students are especially useful because even as we are doing the research, the students are intimately involved in it. And uh, uh, we hope to sort of see between Boston Valley and ourselves this continuing dialogue uh, to innovate with this material, which I think is really one of the future materials uh, in architecture, not only tied to sustainability, longevity, durability. You know, it's a material that's been around for forever. We just know now we can engineer it better and do more interesting things with it. Oh, it's so hard. I, I don't know. I, only I would say um, another week. <laughs> you know, it takes a long time to do this work, and I think we're going to get to a great place of understanding in the really three, four days that we're doing it. But we could always benefit from another session that would follow up and say, we, we got to a certain place. Could we take it? What's the next level of refinement? So it's not a addition, I would say, to this workshop, but maybe this workshop is going to beg a follow-up that says where we go from here. And that it shouldn't be a repeat, but in fact it should be something that continues to evolve over time. This was a really great experience bringing these professionals together and developing this networking with such a great team of people. We're really excited about what next year is going to bring.